Hey there, my name is Kathleen Coble with Masters of Marketplace, where we help small businesses and entrepreneurs make more money on Amazon. So today I have a really exciting thing I'm gonna be showing you, something I've really been learning and perfecting over the last two years or so, and that has to do with product selection as an Amazon influencer. So you may or may not know how to find profitable products on Amazon to sell in the marketplace, this takes some of those tools and applies some newer tools that I use and that I love so much to be able to find products that I'm already planning on buying, but doing it strategically so that I can make sure to purchase something that not only is what I'm looking for, good quality, that's very important to me, a good price, but also that I can then use and decide if I want to create an Amazon influencer video for it. Um, this is really important once you get through, you know, once you get to a certain income threshold as an Amazon influencer, um, you're gonna start getting approached by brands, sellers, agents, and they're gonna ask you to do videos. And so, you know, something that's, I've gotten a lot, a lot of people have been asking me, well, how do I pick products to vet and to make videos for, for the Amazon Influ influencer program? So with my background as an Amazon seller, and again, with the software tools I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a live demo um, and show you exactly, cause I am, of course, I'm always searching for stuff to buy on Amazon. I have a family, I have a dog, I have kids, I have multiple homes now, and so, there's always stuff I need to buy on Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna show you my process for finding products to buy with the intention of using them to test out to make videos for my Amazon influencer storefront as well. So let's get into it. The first thing that I do wanna say is that I do my best research when I'm on desktop, um, but that's not always realistic for me to be able to start on desktop. So I think it's really important, and this is why I started this video this way, is because a lot of times I am just scrolling through my phone, and then so what I'll do is I know that I need to buy something, so for, you know, for this example here, I need to buy a megaphone. My husband needs one for an event that he's helping out with, and and so he asked me if I would find a nice megaphone that um, that he can use and that ideally then we can test it out, use it for the event, and then if everything works well, um, then I can create a video and use it for my Amazon influencer store as well. So I'm gonna take you through my product selection process starting on mobile, really. Um, that's where a lot of people start searching for things. And so I didn't want to discount that. The way, you know, you can go to desktop and just start as well. And I'll show you because, so, you know, let's just get into it. First things first, I need to find the right keyword, right? So it's megaphone, uh, you know, whatever that, whatever pops up when Amazon is, you know, kind of helping me with my search terms, bullhorn, megaphone, whatever that may be. So I type that in. I love the Amazon app. I always use my app to buy things. And especially when doing, you know, starting the product research um, phase of purchasing something. And so, um, and I think it's also really good to see, you know, what shows up on there as a content creator for Amazon too. Cause I get to see like, are there other videos on there? What are the price points? What are the competition? All that good stuff. I'm gonna show you, um, you know, in a picture in picture here, kind of my first stage of looking for this megaphone, bullhorn, whatever you wanna call it. And so basically, you know, simply just put in the keywords that you're looking for of the item, right? And scroll through Amazon. So a fairly new development with Amazon is that they're now telling us how many, if there's been significant sales volume in the recent past, they're telling us. So you can see here, it says 1,000 sold in the last month. That's a great indication to me that this thing is selling 1,000 units every month. And that's really important because I need to know that there's good sales volume. That means people are coming to the listing, so they're going to be more likely to see my video if I create a video for this product. Another thing I look for is what is coming up in the ads, in the sponsored spaces for these keywords. And so I can see there are megaphones that look very similar, um, different numbers of reviews, but there are certain ones that are coming up at the top with sponsored. I also look for that as an Amazon influencer because that means that the brand or the seller behind it is putting money into advertising. They are very much invested in this product, which means they will probably have, you know, a good inventory. They're less likely to run out of stock if they have ads behind, um, 
especially for the keywords that I'm searching for. I wanna know what products are coming up when I search for Megaphone and here they are. And it just so happens that some of them have sold a thousand units in the last month. And so what I really like to do here, again, if I can't get to my desktop or I'm just scrolling wherever I am, I just start adding things into my cart. And so I'm going to take some of these top products that I see as I'm sc scrolling through the mobile app and just add them over to my cart. And then in just a second, I'm going to take you over to my cart on the desktop and I'm going to show you phase two of this research. All right, so now I've added some things into my cart from my mobile Amazon app, and now I've moved over to desktop so I can actually do a little bit more vetting and product research. So just to give you, you know, kind of a quick example here, if you, you can start this whole process on desktop. Um, I, I actually prefer to do that. I just wanted to show the mobile kind of version of what I do because I do do that a lot, and I don't necessarily want to not do my product research until I get to a desktop. And by adding things to my cart, it really forces me to then go back um, to my desktop, finish out the process, um, and then decide what to buy, right? Because I'm leaving this stuff in my cart. So now if I go over here and I type in Bullhorn Megaphone, um, I should theoretically see a lot of the items that I've already added to my cart pop up, but sometimes it's nice to just kind of go in there and see, um, you know, is there anything different, whatever that may be. Here's my results page. Um, I, I'm, I'm already looking up here and I'm seeing like, I don't know, I don't love these reviews. Here's like a four and a half star one, but I'm almost never buying something that's only four stars because that usually means that it's not a very good product. I know four out of five stars is is fine, it's good, but if I'm gonna be using something and I'm gonna be you know, talking about it in my content, it's gotta be more than four stars. It's gotta be at least 4.2 stars for me personally. Um, I don't like using junk and I don't like when things break on me and I'm certainly not going to create a review and try to get people to buy something that's junk. So uh, I'm just going to start with not buying the junky stuff. <laughs> um, so I am seeing a lot of the items that I've already added to my cart, which you can see over here on the side. I'm already seeing quite a few of these items are in my cart. Um, I would say one I didn't put in here was this one. Um, I think mostly because it already has, you know, some videos and well, whatever, we can, we can just go ahead and, you know, kind of take a look there too. But these are the two tools and you know I can do more content that really covers both of these tools. But the two tools that I use and I love, number one is Fluencer Fruit. This is a Chrome extension that was built by my very dear friend Liz and not only has she executed this brilliantly but it has helped save me so much time and made me more money. So save time, make more money. Yes. <laughs> um, if you are a serious Amazon influencer and you're looking to like get to the next step um, income wise, this is a must have um, as far as the product research goes. So I'm going to show you um, how I use it and, you know, parts of how it works. Um, so here's the extension right here. You can see it's popping up right underneath all of the listings that I have. Now the second software that I use is a uh, Chrome extension. They also have a full-on software too called Jungle Scout. And I've been using Jungle Scout for years and years and years. I love it. I've I've used it, like I said, probably, you know, about a, for a decade or so, however long it's been around, I've been using it. Both of these extensions give me different information. And so putting them together is in my eyes, the recipe for success when I'm determining what product to pick. So just to, just kind of a quick, um, how does this work? Um, so if we look here, right, we have our sponsored listings and then we have the Fluencer Fruit um, extension information popping up. And so that's the banana that I have over here and then Jungle Scout is right next to it here. So another thing I can do is I can actually just click on this and I can go through and one of the features that I just absolutely love about this is that it scores it and then it already sorts it for you. So I can go and type in any keyword of the thing I'm looking for and then the search results page obviously will come up on Amazon and then I will click on Fluencer Fruit here and I'll be able to right away vet what is the best opportunity product for me um, to buy in order to create an Amazon Influencer video review. 
So this is the first one that pops up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up in another um, in another tab here, and I'm gonna show you how I really determine how to do this. So it's really important to look through the Fluencer Fruit opportunities. So what I'm gonna do is, um, obviously 100 is the top score, but for this particular keyword, 79 is the highest. And I, you know, I kind of are, I kind of already bashed this in my intro before I uh, before I started, but it actually does have a 4.2 rating, so that's my bad. It looks like a four from over here, but it does actually have a 4.2, so I will consider that. Um, so basically, this particular item has a score of 79 of 100. Here's the price, here's the commission, okay. Um, what I'm really looking for is the score, then I'm gonna look for the rating. I wanna make sure, like I said, 4.2 or above, so this does actually do what I need it to do. Video and carousel, yes, I want that. Open slots, that means how many video slots are open. So there's six on each product page, and this one has five, so that means there probably isn't an influencer on there yet. Nope, so that's the next column. Is there an influencer video? And that's why as you scroll down and you can see right where there's an influencer video, the score is gonna be a little bit lower because it's just gonna be a little bit more competitive for me to get that top placement in the carousel. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and open up, you know, say the top, you know, the top five or six, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the top five here. Actually, these all appear to be the same. Yep, so these are all the same because I can see by their rating, they have 475 uh, ratings. And so I'm actually going to go down to this one just so that I have a little bit more, you know, kind of more to work with here. So I have about five up here, um, but one thing that now I'm gonna do, so now I have the top five recommended products from Fluencer Fruit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair that with Jungle Scout, who is going to tell me the daily sales, the monthly sales, and the monthly revenue of each of these product listings. So now what I'm doing is I'm deciding based on the monthly revenue and the monthly you know, daily sales. Now, $7,000 a month in revenue isn't, it's not a lot, to be honest. Um, that's actually very low. I personally really only like to do video reviews for stuff that sells 50,000 or more per month. It is getting a little bit um, harder to find those items, but again, I need to buy this thing anyway. So I'm just looking for the best item to buy that I can also do a video for and ideally have it pay for itself and then some. Um, so with this, let's see here. It looks like looks like a pretty good listing. If I click on here, it's just got the one video. I mean, so that's encouraging. One video, there's no other influencers. Um, I love that it has these different variations. So if I did a video on here, it would then go to all these different variations, which is cool. Um, but the one thing that's really holding me back is the monthly revenue. Um, they are advertising it, so they're definitely trying to get their revenue up. Um, but this is not like a win-win product for me, so I'm just kind of going to keep looking. Um, all right, here's another one. Monthly revenue is 20,000. So already we're a little bit higher up and just a small amount down on the Fluencer Fruit um, on their rating. So what I like about this one here too is that, okay, there's only one video. There's no influencers on here yet, um, but this is a much different price point. This is 62.99. And that tells me that not only is it more premium quality item, but it's more money. So people are gonna wanna see a video of how it's in use because they're gonna be spending more money in order to get this. Um, it also has a 4.6 rating with over a thousand uh, reviews on it. I'm liking this so far. It's got two different ink soot. Okay, so two different kind of color variations. Um, you know, if I wanna go premium and I wanna get the best one, there it is, okay. So I'm gonna keep this one open and let's kinda just keep looking here. Here's another one. Okay, we're at 17,000. Um, one thing too to note with this particular chart is this is the sales history over um, you know, the period of time that I have. I have two years here, so I like to just kinda look and see there are these ebbs and flows. I can see here that last year in August, they had a big sales spike and it really came over the summer. June, July, August, then it started kinda pattering off you know, for the holidays. Here we go again, May, 
June, July. So this is telling me that now it's gonna be an even better summer for this item. So it could get to be a lot more than 17,000. We are in season with this. And ooh, I'm seeing something I really love here. Okay, so it's 77 rating, that's really great. Um, one thing I'm seeing here, so it's $35. So it's right in the middle of the 62 and the um, six, you know, 16, 17, 99 here. Um, one thing that got me really excited is they're not using all of their, um, their image spaces. And so that means, and there's no influencers on here. So one thing to note, I'm so glad I saw this example and I can kind of explain to you why this is very exciting. Um, there are seven slots here. So you can see if we go to this other one, um, we have six images and a video. So this seller is taking up all of their, basically all of their real estate in what they can with images and video. This one is not. And so that means that if I buy this and I do a video on this and I put it up there, it's going to be right it, it's it's going to show up on mobile as um, in the swipe carousel. So if you see a product like this that only has two images and one video, your video will then be the next will then be the next thing. And so that is like the optimal ideal placement. Um, as long as the product makes sense and has a good amount of sales history. Um, so I am really leaning. I'm really leaning towards this one. I really like this one. It's the mid-range price point. It's over 4.2 stars. Um, it has the open video slot carousel. It has these nice peaks over the summer, which is the time it is now. It is July right now as I'm doing this video. Um, and so this, this is looking like a really great item for me to buy and review, even though it is under my $50,000 threshold here. Um, I really, I. It's gonna be hard to beat that one. All right, let's see. 10,000 on this one, 74. Okay, this is the same. So this is actually the same listing as this first one, right? So if I'm buying one, I'm basically buying them all. I can just pick my color, because once you do a video, it'll go across all these different variations, which I do, I do like that. Um, but it doesn't qualify as like a different listing, really, as I'm going through the criteria. Okay, so let's look at this other one, um, 3,000. Okay, all right, uh, ooh, $115. Audio or video, wow, so you can do video with this. It's waterproof, rechargeable speaker, alarm siren. Okay, that's all cool, but it's a little bit more than what I need, and I wasn't really trying to spend $115 on this item. So this could still be a great item, uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, the higher the price the item, the more money you make in commissions, which is fantastic. Um, but this is, yeah, um, no, it's a little bit higher than I want. So instead of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my cart and I'm just gonna look at these items that I already put in here from my previous research to make sure that I'm not um, missing anything or there isn't like a better opportunity now that I, again, have my software open. Um, so this one, I believe, is the running contender. Oh no, this one is different, okay. So let's see here. I thought this was the same but it's not because this one, ooh, this one says mini bull air horn. And this one is the regular size one. Okay, that's okay. About the same price point here. So I wonder really, what is the difference? Is the, does the mini really mean that it's mini? Now I don't love that they don't they don't have the measurements in here. So like that's kind of a deterring factor for me as a customer, but as an Amazon uh, influencer, I want to get it and I want to let people know how big is this because they're like not really telling us. It says it's lightweight, um, but I'm not actually seeing like how big it is. All right, we'll see here. We'll see here. And this one just giving me a lot of good information. Let's see here though. We do have one influencer on here already. That's not to say I can't do it. It's just that it will be a little bit more competitive. Monthly revenue is 24,000. Um, not terrible, not terrible. That's definitely a contender. 
but I still like this one. It's the same price point and um, a better opportunity and not that much less in revenue. Okay, so that one's okay. Um, let's take a look at this one. Now this says number one bestseller. I'm guessing the revenue is going to be much higher, but yeah, the opportunity score as an influencer is gonna be lower. And that tends to be, yep, so the monthly revenue is over that 50,000. Um, but look at this, it's already got five videos three from the brand and two from influencers. So there is still one video slot open there, um, but I mean, it is the number one bestseller. That's okay, there's no problem with that. Your video will eventually get rotated to the top, but I'm not trying to be in competition on this one, so I'm not gonna do that one. Now I'm a little curious on these other kind of more generic looking ones. Let's just see really quick if anything is going to beat my my current opportunity here. So about $30,000. Yeah, look at this score, 39, way lower. And that's because there's already five videos on here. So one thing I really love about Fluencer Fruit is that I can search for the thing. I can search and put my keyword terms in there. And then I can just bring up the top items. And then I go vet it through Jungle Scout to see what makes the most sense as far as sales go. Same with this one. Look, we're about 43,000, four videos. Again, it's not all six videos slots are taken. I can still very much get in here. Um, it's just, you know, 43,000. I mean, again, it's not really that much. 24,000, what's our fluencer fruit? 61, a little bit better here. Um, looks like maybe we just have one, yeah, one competing influencer. So I mean, honestly, a lot of these would work. A lot of these would work. I just feel like I found, I found the one that meets all of my criteria that I want to try out, that I can see has a, a peak over the summer. And so um, this is it. This is my winner right here. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to review it. And uh, you should be seeing my video up on here uh, really soon, ideally very shortly after you get to watch this video. So I will be purchasing this one. Actually, I need to, there we're going to add that one to the cart. And um, I will have to go get all get rid of all these others. But so that's that's it. That's that's the best way right here. That's how I do my product selection. So I hope this has been helpful. You know, this is really um, an art and a science. So there is no like black and white when it comes to choosing products to buy and vet with the, you know, kind of back of mind intention of I'm going to make a video about this for, you know, Amazon content and for the influencer program. Um, but that this is just my process that I've been able to um, turn into a six figure yearly business. And so, you know, it's, it's very helpful for me because I have the Amazon knowledge of the product listing pages. I kind of know how those work. Um, and then I also have these two resources that really, really have helped me along the way. And so I do recommend, you know, if you are, you know, at that stage of, um, you're buying things and you really, and you're an Amazon influencer, if you're buying things and you're an Amazon influencer, you really should have both of these extensions on your browser because it's just going to help you make more money, right? If I would have bought any of those others, I might not have been able to make quite as much money, um, even though a lot of them are very similar and comparable um, price-wise and opportunity-wise. This particular one is just, I'm seeing a good opportunity here. I can't wait to try it out. Um, can't wait to try out the megaphone, the bullhorn, whatever it's called. Um, but this is, you know, this is my process that has worked for me really, really well. I, you know, I almost always do five figures every single month with the Amazon Influencer Program, and this is how I vet my products now. Um, so if this has been helpful, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and if you're interested in Influencer Fruit or Jungle Scout and learning more of those, I have affiliate links below this video in the description where you can go take a look, purchase them if you like, and that is a great way of supporting me and this channel to continue to be able to create this content um, to help help you make more money on Amazon. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next one.